Well, welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So the kids and I are gonna take you guys on a little adventure today. We got a couple of things uh, in the mail today. One of them is from an awesome subscriber. I have not even opened it and I don't even know if it says, but it's a little plastic picnic table and I'm assuming this is for the goats. Cause I don't think it's uh, big enough for you guys. What do you think? <laughs> so anyways, thank you. Uh, whoever sent that, you know who you are. Um, I'd like to know who it is so I can personally thank you through an email or something like that. So uh, thank you so much for sending that. We're going to get that assembled and we're going to take it out there and see what the little goats think of it. Mm -hmm. But first, we got something here in the floor. Where this is something that Rachel found online. I think she found it on Amazon. And what it is, let me show you guys. So Mojo has a bed right here on our porch. Outside, of course. And it's a little bit wore down. Uh, it barely is the right size for him because he is a large dog. He's like 130 pound Great Pyrenees. He's actually, see if you guys can see this. He is right there, the big fluff ball, right there where that turkey just walked. He's laying out there with his goats right now. But here in just a minute, we're gonna surprise him with the new bed. You guys wanna put it together for me? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let me set this camera up real quick and let me cut this open. This, this reminds me of the beds that you buy for humans. Hold on. Hold on, sis. Get over there, Caleb. So this actually reminds me of some of the foam mattresses that we have bought for ourselves. It comes in these vacuum packed bags. Now watch out. Uh oh. These are like. It's kind of like. Nah, I don't think up. it's going to do that. Yeah. So they're like really compressed, vacuum packed, and it's like a mattress in a bag. Skeeter just can't hold his excitement. He's over there. There's that. Oh. Now it's gonna kind of. That's big. Yeah, it's big. Mm -hmm. I'll let you guys help me put that up. Is it even bigger than that? I think it's bigger than that one up that we already got. Oh yeah, that's a good size bed. Whoa. Whoa. All right, get that. This hey, is super get that cool. cover right there. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. <laughs> is this the one that it came with? Yeah, it's it comes with a cover because it's washable. Because you know you guys know how uh, dirty Mojo is. Mm -hmm. So this is actually pretty cool because it's got like a place for like a pillow all the way down and you can lay his little head on. And then on this side too, it's still kind of compressed. Mmm, it smells good. No, it don't smell good. Yeah, it does. All right. Cool. All right. How are you supposed to put this in? Uh, get over here on this side. Okay. Oh. No, it's I think like that. All right. Wow, that's easy. Maybe. side is the side that goes on the pillows. Like that. We can't see your head, Dad. It's okay. People get tired of seeing my head. Why? Come here and help me. Alright, I think that's how it goes, right? What do y'all yeah. think? Good. Looks we need good. to do it again on this side. So flip it over. La Fug is the name? Mm -hmm. Here, hold on, Bubba. We're gonna you out on surprise your brother. Mm -hmm. Let me cut this off real quick before this string keeps getting stuck in there. All right, ready? Yep. Y'all pull it on there. Pull that over. Working? Let's 
to set it down. Whoa. Y'all want to lay on it and see how it feels? You think Mojo will like oh, it? Yep. Huh? Yep. I know I like my foam mattress, so I think he'll like his. So let's take it out there. Let's take it out. This side. All right, let's take it out there. We'll get the door. All right, so we're going to surprise Mojo. Are you ready, Skeeter? Let's go tell Mojo. Come on. There you go. Let me grab his old Watch bed. Watch out! <laughs> Hold on. Let me grab his old bed. And the chickens have been in the flower bed making a mess. <sighs> Alright, bring it over here. Mojo, we got a surprise for you. Mojo! Come on! Come on, boy! Mojo, come here! It's not quite dinner time. Come here. All right. Is that where you guys want it? Sure. Right there? Come here, Mo. Mojo, come here. I got a surprise. He said, okay, here we come. So this is going to show you how Mojo gets in and out of the fence very quickly. If there's a predator over there, he is quick to action. So here they come. Mojo got a surprise. What do you think? Look at that. Surprise! <laughs> Get over there. Look. Get over there in the corner, Caleb. See what he does. Good boy. All right. <laughs> what do you think? I think he likes it. Mhm. Mm but it is a little bit bigger. Um, you guys can see this one's pretty good size, but it's kind of worn down. We'll oh. keep it. It's got hair all over it. It's gross. Because Mojo does sleep out there with the goats, so he gets all the all the goat stuff all over his fur, and he gets all stinky. But that's part of being a farm dog. Mm -hmm. So, come here, Skeeter. Well, actually, it's just a part of being a dog. You ain't having dog. those slumber parties with your brother. <laughs> yeah, it's part of being a dog. So, you guys ready to... Let's go put this picnic table together, and then we're going to go out here, and we're going to get that little play thing, the little tykes play set out there. And we're gonna take it over and show the baby goats okay. and let them play on it. So he's laying down. He says, Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get him, but the, the camera's picking up all the shadow. Let me put that down. Maybe that'll help. Helps a little bit. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go put this together and then uh we'll be back. I'm gonna go get this little tax play set and we'll go see the little baby goats. Alright guys, we got the table put together, the little picnic table for the goats. And I'm going to get the ranger. I'm going to go over there and get that one. I'm going to let the kids carry this down there to the gate. And then we'll be right back. We're going to go pick the other one up. And we'll meet back up with the kids. Can you all carry it? It's light enough, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. All right. I'll be right back. Don't let them go tell. Okay. Skeeter. Hey, you want to go for a ride? Let's go. Come on. Go for a ride. Come on. Get in there. Come on. Get in there. Let's go. Let's go. Does anybody else have a animal friend that likes to go for rides, whether it be in your vehicle or in a side-by-side -side or something like that? Skeeter loves it. Come on. Hey, come here. Come over here. Good boy. There you go. Uh-oh, Mojo just caught us. Now he's coming. Let's see. He comes around the corner. Yep, here he comes. Alright, I'm gonna go grab this real quick. I'm not feeding you yet, boy. You ready? Get in there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, goats are going to move. Don't let these goats out. Come 
Come on, guys. No, no Peter. All right, you get the gate. Alright, let's get away and see what these babies do. Come on. See if they'll run their obstacle course like last year. Oh, there's already a big one. Yeah, no, hold on. Stay right there. Well, we got a big goat on the play set. Well, this. Yeah, he got down. You can pick one up and catch it. I can? Yeah. Yay. They're big enough now. Yay! So everybody's still got their ear tags in, hopefully. Okay, they'll stay over here, though. Let them get on the play set. I want to see if they'll get on the... Try out the new... Uh, Picnic table. <laughs> we'll just let them have some distance so they don't get scared. <laughs> yeah, last year it took them a day or two. Uh, we set this little tax playground up right here, and they didn't really want anything to do with it that day. But the next day, I woke up and looked out here, and they were running. Back and forth, going crazy. I actually uh, got a video out on that last year. It was pretty cool to watch. <laughs> they know this one's still here. Me and Rachel set this up last year, and we're fast it back. And they really love this. It has a pretty good sized rock down there. They got the cable spools. They got the post <clears throat> to run back and forth on and climb on. It's pretty much feeding time, so that's why all the mamas are kind of confused. I don't know if they've quite figured out. Hey, get back a little bit. I don't know if they've quite figured out how to get up on that cable reel. <clears throat> you guys gonna do anything exciting? Probably not, because I got a camera. Of course not. So I have found out if I want to get these guys on camera, you got to get out here as soon as the sun comes up because first thing in the morning when there's still a heavy frost on the ground, these baby goats are out here running nonstop. Their favorite plaything so far is that dirt pile from ever, whenever we dug the uh, water line down to the hog pens. I left that dirt pile there just for this reason. Goats love climbing on stuff and playing on stuff. So... You can kind of see they got all the old grass worn down and everything. It's pretty much just dirt. And uh, every morning that's where they're at, running circles on that thing, playing King of the Mountain. It's pretty funny. <laughs> all right, you guys ain't going to do any uh, special tricks for us, I guess. Can I hold one? Yeah. You probably ain't going to be able to catch one. They're getting big, big, big every day. They're getting bigger and faster. They're all healthy, so that's a good thing. Daisy, get her. Come here, goats. Hey, I'm not feeding you guys. I'll feed you here in a minute. Well, so much for uh, trying to film the babies play on their new toys. Oh, Caleb got one. Come here, Caleb. Show me which baby that is. Number five, that's a boy. We only got one girl. Uh oh, mama's. Mama's crying for him. Go ahead and pet him and put him down. Is he soft? Yep. What do you think about him? It's okay. Look, mama. I'm telling you, these are good mamas. These Spanish Chico goats. Oh, they just ran around behind the Look, your baby's right there. The baby keeps going the wrong way. Your baby's right there. There she found it. Now it's going to get a drink. 
They're all so Look. pretty. Yeah, they're beautiful. Jerkface Jr. had some really pretty kids this year. Yep. Remember when he knocked my tooth out? Yeah. <laughs> Part of it, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. I hope that doesn't happen to me when I have kids. Well, you never know. All right, let's walk over here and see what babies do. Yeah, it's probably when Daisy comes. That's what I was going to ask you. What did you guys find? It's huh. Good enough. It's eyes are out. Yeah, it looks Ooh. like Daisy uh, jagged it up from somewhere. That's weird. Well, that's <laughs> Don't touch cool. it. It's probably nasty. Yeah. Did you find that? She said, that's my prize. Don't take it, Dad. <laughs> she said, that's her trophy. Uh oh, we got some goats up here. Not the ones we want, but they're trying to they're trying to show the babies what to do, right? Yeah. Do you think? Mm-hmm. Where'd the babies go? Oh, they're all over here. That's where I was walking. <laughs> Alright babies, you need to go this way. Don't run in the barn. Never mind. <laughs> They look like little little we can, rabbits. We can go in the barn. Okay, they're gonna go in the barn. Everybody said it's feeding time. We don't want to play. Why does Daisy always hang around me? Cause she likes attention. Yeah. Yeah, but why me? I don't know. Look at this when he's running sideways. Is it funny how little baby goats run sideways? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they jump. They, like, they jump like bunny rabbits. Yeah. Why is that? They just play. They're they're uh, getting their Feelings in their legs, I guess, where they are learning how to use them. That one is a ginger-colored baby, and he's got gray spots on him. He he's beautiful. All over his lips. They're all coming yeah, he's got out milk now. all over his mouth. <laughs> They're all coming out. Oh, here they come. Okay, let's stand back and see if they'll come out here. It's a herd. It's a herd. There's a little one there. Little ones everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Some of them are growing really fast. Like they're getting meaty. And I think that's Connie's baby, the boy. The boy is almost hey, double size. But, hey! Hey, quit being mean. The boy is almost double size the uh, little girl. This one here is pretty friendly. Aww. What number is that one, Caleb? Five. That's the same one you said a while ago. Wait, what? There was two. Oh. Because that was so here's the little girl. A little white one right here. She is tiny still. And her brother is huge. So there's a little girl right there. That's Wait, how did he get out? Oh wait, he can go through the uh, gate. Oh. Well, we don't want him to run they off They go somewhere. through the gate. Daisy protects them. See, they go right through there like it's nothing. But they know not to go too far. They need, sometimes they need to break away from their mama. What do you think? Yeah. You think they just like to act like they're teenagers? Huh? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to stay away from them. No. But the goats are just kind of exploring. They think they're big because they're on the other side of the gate. In reality, they're just right here, and their mamas can still see them pretty good. So. Mm, that one's really pretty. All right, well, I guess everybody's going to have to stay tuned. We can or, uh, name that one two socks because it has two. We'll see. Ones. We're not gonna name anyone yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is uh that is uh one socks new baby right there. That's one of the boys. Wait, what? That's the one. He that's one socks baby. So he has two socks. Yep. So he has two socks, one on each front leg. <laughs> All right. So uh, <sighs> sorry guys. I thought I was gonna be able to get to show you guys the babies playing on their new toy. And thank you for whoever sent us the picnic table. We uh, appreciate it. It's going to come in very helpful, especially since we only have the one. And usually I trade back and forth between pastures because we've got two herds of goats. And here before long, we're going to have some uh, new babies in the pygmy pasture. Look at this. i got to show you guys the coloring on this since he's up on the outside. This little goat looks like a little cheetah. He's got little black charcoal colored spots all over him. And that's one of one sock's sons. So, 
just a little update on the babies. They're, this is probably like their first day outside. I had them locked up for a couple days because it was so cold. It's been in about 20s in the morning, so I wanted them to have access to the heat lamp and to stay warm. So, anyways, we're going to wrap this video up. You ready, Kaya? You got anything to say? Subscribe and hit that like button. This one's Leave done. a comment. Yeah. All right, Caleb, you want to say anything? Um, thank you for sending us the playset. Yep, thank you did. very much. I think it's going to be uh, fun to watch these baby goats on it. They just have to adjust to it. Yeah, it'll take a little time. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for whoever sent this. Let me know who you were because uh, we really appreciate it. And stay tuned. Hopefully in the next video I will have some footage of these baby goats playing on those things. We'll see. We'll see you guys.